Hello. This tutorial is intended for applicants who have started a new building permit application with City of San Jose utilizing SJE plan also known as Project Docs. It will demonstrate how you would access your project. You must have already registered for an account in Project Docs before accessing your application. If you have not set up your account yet, please refer to our other tutorial video on this topic. At any point during the process of a permit application where an action is required by the applicant, an automatic email notification would be sent by the system to the user identified as applicant. Email is sent from the address as shown here. Please read the instructions provided in each email and take the next necessary action. Each notification email requiring an action contains a button similar to what is shown here. You may click on it to access the project directly. In some cases, as in the example shown here, this button will also start the task you are required to perform. Alternatively you can access the project doc site at any time by using the direct URL site address, even if you have no task assigned to you. Once you reach project doc site, you must enter the email address and password you have used to register for your account, and click on Login. If you have accessed the site directly and without using any task buttons inside email notifications, you will be routed to the Project Docs portal dashboard, where you would see list of all your applications that are processed through Project Docs. If you have many applications, dashboard may not show the specific project you are looking for on first page. You may navigate through other pages of dashboard to locate the intended project. However for such cases we recommend that you use View All Projects button, which will take you to the main project page of Project Docs and provides additional features to search for your project. Click on All tab here to ensure you can see all the projects linked to your account. On this page, you can filter the applications by typing a text inside any of the boxes below column headers to narrow your search. You can also sort the results by clicking on any of the column headers which toggles between ascending and descending order for each click. Please note if you have separate applications with other city departments, like fire or planning division, and you have used the same account for all your applications, then all such projects along with building applications will be accessible in same place throughout Project Docs environment. You can identify your building permit applications by the two-letter suffix following the application number. All building permit applications will have one of four possible suffix options. RS, 41 and 2 Family Residential Dwelling Projects. CI, for Commercial and Industrial Projects. MF, for Multifamily Projects. NTM, for Tracked Multifamily New Construction. TM and MF application types may sometimes be used interchangeably at discretion of building department, based on specific needs of a project for issuance of permit, and they have no specific impact on plan review activities in Project Docs. Once you have located the intended application, click on the application number to enter the specific project screen. Project environment consists of several tabs. Task tab shows the specific task that needs to be performed by the user at this time. If no task is shown under this tab, then no action is required by this user at this time. You can view the project workflow by clicking on the workflow thumbnail here. Many of functions in Project Docs, including this workflow diagram, open in a separate pop-up window. Please ensure your browser does not block pop-ups for Project Docs site. Workflow is a visual representation of the steps that an application will have to go through. Arrows between each step identify the direction of flow and next step. Inside the workflow view, you can zoom into different portions of workflow by using the blue window box in the outline window. You can also move the blue box to view different parts of the workflow. To go back to the original overall view, click on Refresh link at the top.
Green box indicates the current active step of the application. Orange boxes denote the tasks that will have to be performed by city staff. Blue boxes show the tasks that must be performed by project applicant. These tasks will be triggered when needed based on progress of the project. Pink and white boxes denote automatic actions of project docs. In the case of clearance step however, the action will be auto-completed once workflow reaches this step and only if your project has passed the review of public works department and clearance have been granted. In cases where public works development clearance is not applicable to the scope of project, this action will be automatically completed by project docs. Once the workflow has passed notify download step, it means that permit has been issued. Applicant will receive a notification email indicating that permit documents are ready to be downloaded. Please refer to other tutorials for final step of application and receipt of approved files. Files tab shows the project docs folders accessible to current user. Status tab provides a quick overview of status of the project at this time. Workflow routing slip link provides detailed report of step-by-step -step actions taken on this project up to current time. Info tab provides general information about the application. Reports tab shows available reports on this application. You may open the reports by clicking on the blue hyperlinks. In all pages of project docs where information is shown in tabular format, such as all projects home page, seen in this example, you can customize the view. Click on one of the small cog wheels, shown at right side of each column header. You can use the move to option to rearrange the columns. You can also rearrange the columns by simply clicking on the column header and moving it to desired location. You can hide a column individually using hide button. You can use the column chooser option to reset the view back to its default condition. You can also use the column chooser option to select which columns should be shown and which ones to be hidden. Once you have made your selections, you can save the current setting for this particular page of project docs using Save Settings button. You may use the Reset Settings option to return the screen back to project docs default condition. This concludes the tutorial on project access and navigation.